Hello and welcome back to our continuing escapades on the Let's Defend platform. Today we are going to tackle SOC 119 Proxy Malicious Executable File Detected. This event is ID'd as 83 and takes place March 21st, 2021 at 1.02 p.m. So let's see, looks like we have Susie Host going to rin-rar.com, postdownload.html, version 32-bit, it was allowed inside of Chrome. Alright, so we will start off with rin-rar.com, updated 8 months ago, creation 19 years, well somebody's playing a long game if it's bad. <laughs> Zero out of eighty two. Okay, how about the actual link that uh, or URL that was denoted? Zero out eighty five. Serving IP address fifty one one ninety five. No, nope, no problem there either. Okay, so let's go ahead and take. It's been so stinking long since I've used WinRAR. Everything now is effectively 7-zip. Or just the built-in compression in Windows. Uh, let's see. Hm, two cows. <laughs> but yeah, effectively everything has got nothing but positive stuff for it. Same thing with the IP address. Okay, so actually going to the link pulls down a WinRAR, what, 600? Everything looks perfectly fine. Running the EXE that's pulled down from there. We get a 1 out of 54 refreshed at the time of recording of the Yandex. So more than likely, this is going to be a false positive, as it's one of the not as widely known. So I'm looking for Bitdefender. I'm looking for CrowdStrike. I'm looking for Cyber Reason. I'm looking for Silence. I'm looking for Emisoft. Malware Bytes. Sentinel One. Trend Micro, yeah, so. Uh, let's see, and then we have a hybrid analysis portion for it. Again, pointing out that one detection in Yandex. Commenter. And then a run inside of any dot run. We are left with nothing that really stands out, really as malicious. Being able to open it after the installation. TH. Been two months, so I'll go ahead and recheck it. But given the fact that we're looking at a single, not well known detection, well, engine detection, I'm much more inclined with basically just labeling this as a false positive on Yandex's side. I don't typically look at Yandex to, uh, really get their consideration on anything. So no actual issues with th.exe. We get a batch file, pings, adds to the task list. And we just have the straight executable. WinRAR. 
Dropped or rewritten from another process. Well, duh, it was just installed. Um, how about the actual rin.rar application? One month ago. Let's refresh. Anything to support the potential evidence of malware? Tick-tock. And it looks like we're not going to come back with anything. Well, boo. <laughs> that was allowed. Um, and we only have that one machine, again, Chrome, going out and pulling that. So let's take a look at endpoint wise. Nope, not that one. Susie host. It's already quarantined. <laughs> Agent down. Socks putting in the mileage, but apparently the other IT teams are really failing this organization. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I think that we've got enough to pretty much say that this is going to be a false positive. Well, if you do disagree, feel free to uh, either comment in the video or on Twitter. I will, uh, I will defend my position calmly, constructively. Okay, so what do we have? Proxy playbook. What was the source address? That would be Susie Host at 172.16.17.5. What is the destination URL? That's going to be the win-rar.com slash postdownload.html question mark and capital L equals zero and version equals 32-bit. And then Chrome-Windows is the user agent. We search the logs. Analyze the URL address. Non-malicious. Of course, maybe they don't want WinRAR being run because, well, realistically, if this is an actual legitimate organization, they should go through and pay for it and get a corporate license. Or is it a business license? Apparently it doesn't make a lick of difference. You just have to buy a license. Okay, whatever. Alright, so we've gone through, answered the questions. We're going to label that as a false positive. Uh, let's see, URL was to the legit. Then our site and the installer is not malware. And close. Let's see, here we go here. Apparently all the questions that they wanted to have answered was answered appropriately, so boogoo points. <laughs> but with all that put together, that completes SOC 119, event ID 83, proxy malicious executable file detected that occurred March 21st, 2021 at 1.02 p.m. With that, I will see everybody in the next video, which looks like it will be the last remaining event on March 21st. Ooh, malware detected. Oh. Well, geez, let's just kind of pile straight into this one. <laughs> uh, donuts. Dollars to donuts. Well, this will be an easy one. I mean, I've already got all my notes and everything else like that in regards to this. 
Uh, let's see. Starts in C7-4, ends in CD6. Oh, wait, that's just the site. That's the IP address. There we go. Huh. Interesting. Anyways, that'll be for the next video. All right, I'll see everybody then.